In this section, we go over the Layers menu, which is the top right icon. The Layers menu with the shortcut L is helpful in helping you visualize different areas you're working on. You can toggle the layers on and off by clicking the eyeball. Turning off the base image layer is extremely helpful if you have any stray points or need to visualize your animation a little bit better. For example, over on the left here, I have a point that I might not have been able to see very well with the image turned on. So as I turn it off, I can see that I don't want this point and it's probably messing up my animation. So I'm gonna click on it and hit delete. And then I can turn my base image back on. The second layer is your mask layer. You can turn this on and off by checking the eyeball and it shows you the areas that are masked out which will not be moving in your animation. The third layer is your points layer, which is your animation points and any stabilizer points you may have. The fourth layer down is the mesh layer, which is turned off by default. You can turn it on by clicking on the eyeball and this will help you visualize how the animation is moving in your image. To view the mesh while your animation is playing, go down to the settings icon on the bottom left and turn your preview tracks to on. Then go ahead and hit play. With the preview tracks turned on and the mesh layer turned on, you can see how your animation is working with our software. The fifth layer down is your lines layer. This will be any automated mask tool or feathering that you see here. I'll go ahead and unclick that. With the lines layer turned off, you'll be able to better see the exact edges of your mask. The last layer is the text layer. This will only show up if you've used the text tool to add photo credits to your image. I can go ahead and turn this off or back on. Now don't forget, if you have added text and you turn this off, this is only for the preview. So when you export your image, the text will still be there. In order to delete your text, you'll go to the text tool, click on the text, and hit delete. And that's it for the layers menu.